Now, my next guests are so fun, you may think they've been smoking bluegrass, but <laughs> nope. Dr. Digger Cleverly, along with his nephews Ricky Lloyd, DVD, Stephen Tyler Dale, and Quattro, make up the faux family bluegrass band, the Cleverlies. These guys are serious musicians, but they have fun playing hit rock and roll pop songs in the style of bluegrass. Would you welcome, please, the Cleverlies? Yeah. Thank Digger, you, Governor. Great having you guys here. Uh, you're known for some light-hearted humor along the way. Uh, but when did you and your nephews even start playing together? Were they just little fellers when you, you started? Actually, it started out, my dad and his four brothers started the Cleverly Trio. Is that right? That's right. And then uh, me and my brothers uh, kind of took it on. Mm -hmm. And then I'm the, I'm the lone survivor of that bunch. And now I'm bringing in the younger generation right here. These are my nephews and, and my only grandchild right here. This is Quattro. Nephew and grandchild all at the same time. Yes, sir. Uh, where are you from, Digger? Um, We're from uh, Arkansas. Yeah, fact, I figured that. That's fact, we, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> We're from a little town called Canespur, Arkansas. And I want you to know, when we was leaving, everybody said, hey, tell Sarah's daddy we said hey. Now, I knew that's what they were going to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys have this uh, festival coming up. It's, ne it's, it's actually it's a dream of mine yeah? is to have this festival. And uh, we found a place down in uh, Murfreesboro. Yeah. We're going to move it to Middle Tennessee and uh, uh, down a place called Hop Springs down there. They don't know it yet. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't told them that. <laughs> I need y'all to help me convince these people to let us have the festival what's there. It, what's it going to be called? What kind of festival? It's going to be called Limb Chicken. Limb Chicken? We're celebrating everything squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> This is an act, actual event. You can follow us at Limb Chicken. You can, uh, we're on all, we just started our social media today. So y'all join us, like us and all that. And you'll be the first ones on there. Maybe the only ones on there, Maybe right? the only ones on yeah. there. I mean, because not everybody understands the value of cuisine that centers around the squirrel. And, and let me tell you, it, this has become quite an event. Northwest Arkansas, the world champion squirrel cook-off. It's a real thing. My buddy Joe Wilson up there did it to raise money for an organization called Steaks for Sheepdogs. And what they do... <laughs> and what they do... <laughs> it's, an actual, it's an actual thing. And what they do is they go around the communities uh, that have fallen police officers, fallen firefighters, they call them sheep dogs, and they go around and they cook them world-class steak dinners, and they help communities heal. And we, and uh, so he started the world champion squirrel cook-off to raise money for that. And we're going to keep that keep that going. We're going to keep raising money for uh, steaks for sheep dogs. We're going to celebrate limb chickens. We're going to have stand-up comedy. We're going to have uh, some of the best bands that you can get for as little money as we can spend. <laughs> You, you might even be able to convince Trey and the band over here, but you'd have to give them an all-you-can-eat squirrel dinner. You got it, Trey. We're not They're any pretty good, but we're expensive. Yeah. I got some squirrel tamales with your name on it, son. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Three of them. <laughs> uh, that's an all-you-can-eat squirrel dinner right there. <laughs> yeah. Three is about all you can eat. That's all you can. That's Did right. you know when I was in college, I actually used to fry squirrel in a popcorn popper in my dorm room? That is a true story. Now, see, that Does gives anybody you... doubt whether I'm a redneck at that point? No. Honestly, that gives you more street cred in my book. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not sure that I want it, but I'm glad to have it. <laughs> so are you guys doing uh, a lot of new music and touring and stuff like that these days? We have. We, we have been blessed. We, didn't, we weren't sure that we were going to get to be able to hit the road this year, yeah. but it, people have been buying tickets. We've been playing shows all over the country. Just got back from a, a big stint down in Texas. Had a great uh, tour down there. And uh, we got one more coming up, The Art of Music. Uh, our friends Balsam Range uh, is putting on this uh, festival in uh, North Carolina, Lake Junaluska. Um, and uh, it's, it's a big festival for uh, grassroots music and uh, uh, the art of music. And we're uh, December the 4th. We're looking forward to that coming up. We're excited to, uh, to be able to follow you. And by the way, as the Cleverleys get ready to perform, we're going to have Keith Bilbrey tell everyone at home how they can get the music 
of the Cleverleys. For all things Cleverleys, go to Huckabee.tv. Don't miss the Limb Chicken Fest and Squirrel Cook-Off Festival. And watch their rendition of Justin Bieber's Baby after the show on the brand new Huckabee.tv.